Good afternoon. It's time for the entertainment. I'll bride you on Ghana Talk Show. Then I go by the name Regina Bless. So jump into our stories. Amper Head plans after Johnny Depp trial disclosed. Hollywood actress Amper Head's future plans post former husband Johnny Depp defamation trial have been unveiled. As the jury deliberates on the verdict, Amper Head is preparing for more epic movies. This is Ghana Talk Show. On the work front, the, the Aquaman actress is later to appear in two films, Run Away With Me and In The Fire. The Run Away With Me is a story of an American in Paris who falls to a model and the two become intertwined in the criminal underworld of the European modeling industry, according to IMDb. Meanwhile, Head essays the role of a New York psychiatrist in the fire. Apart from the new films, Amper Head is planning to move to one million euros mansion in California desert and spend quality time with Dr. Page Head. Haley Bieber says she struggles with people pleasing, really wants everybody to like her. Halle Bieber got candid about her mental health issues as the model revealed that she struggles with the people pleasing. In a video posted on her YouTube channel, Justin Bieber's wife said that therapy has been a game changer for her. She said in the video, there are several things I like to do to check in with myself. One of those things being talk to somebody you trust. The 25-year-old added that she has been taking therapy for four years now, which has been a great help to her. It's something that I felt not sure of in the beginning, but the more I have grown my relationship with my therapist, it has been such a game changer for me, Halle said. She continued, it's a space where I feel really safe to be able to talk about what's going on in my mind. Say things out loud and feel safe and not feel judged. The model further said that other things that help her in times of just feeling a lot of anxiety is spending time in nature, taking back and practice breathing exercise such as counted breathing. I'm somebody who struggles with people pleasing and really wanting everybody to like me and caring a lot about what people have to say and what they think. She said while revealing that her relationship with social media has been taxing on her inner peace. Moving to our next story. Thomas Marco stopped being father to Meghan long time ago. Meghan Marco should be left alone amid her estranged father's ailment. Says Dr. Shula, the expert notes that Thomas Marco stopped playing the role of a father in Meghan's life long time ago and has only mocked the Duchess on public and private forums ever since her marriage to Prince Harry. Thomas suffered a stroke on Monday which he is speechless for an indefinite time period. She tweeted, when Thomas Marco dies without his daughter, Meghan Marco at his side, he has nobody to blame but himself. He will reap what he showed. We can't choose our parents, but we can choose to have peace of mind. Hashtag Meghan Marco has made their peace and moved on from her wicked father. So Thomas Marco stopped being a father to Meghan long ago. Now he's just, sorry to say, he's just a sperm donor. So leave Meghan Marco alone. Meghan's father left no stone and tend to insult her and husband. Harry on his latest YouTube show, Brandon the Duke of Sussex, an idiot. For missing his grandfather's Philip memorial service. He said he thinks it's ridiculous. He knows how much security they are going to have. He is totally safe in that situation. And my god, he is going off to the games, which will be far more dangerous for him than it should be at the Jubilee. I don't understand how the things he says. And have so little respect for that man. I think he's an idiot. So Queen plane agently about landing due to lightning. The Queen's plane was forced to abort landing due to a lightning storm, reports suggest. The 96-year-old monarch was traveling to London on Tuesday for her platinum jubilee celebrations when the unfortunate incident occurred. The monarch jetted off from Balmoral for the occasion when her 13-seater plane gained 
came across an electrical storm followed by rain and hail. The occurrence caused the pilot to abort landing on the first attempt, according to the Sun. A Buckingham Palace spokesperson said the Queen's flight was delayed due to a lightning storm. All the correct procedures were followed and there were no safety concerns. Queen had to travel to Balmora on Thursday for a short break in order to pace herself ahead of the festivities. So moving to our local entertainment story. Don Little should have died instead of Osai to Nana Agada says. Nana Agada who now calls herself Evangelist Patricia Ojo Quartin says actor Don Little should have died instead of his late colleague Osai Tutu. According to her, Don Little is of no use. So she is saying animals like Don Little are just walking around while great men and people of dignity are losing their lives. This death should have been for Don Little. <laughs> He is of no value. He is not counted among children, nor among adults. To choose that should have been for Don Little. Don Little's that your debt you missed. So her comments came on the back of a viral video in which Don Little is heard claiming the former priestess has not changed her ways and is rather defrauding people under the pretense of operating a church. So Evangelist Mama Pat, uh, now she's saying we should call her Evangelist Tupac. So she's saying we should understand that uh, you are running a savings and loan. Yes, that is Don Little talking. Um, we should understand Mama Pat is running a savings and loans company. A thief who has deceived people into believing she is a pastor. Is still a thief and will keep stealing from people. I don't want to go much into the details. So let's go listen to what Don Little had to say. So Don Leto is saying Mama Pat is in the same hot water and she is not ready to move into the cool water. That is so funny. So moving to our next story. So Nana Tunado breaks silence on delay and if you have just ongoing beef. This these two people, I don't know what is really going on between them. I don't know. So be a Joe, be Kuna, no, be a Joe, be boy. Which which is which? I don't even know. So Nana Tunado, who was once an ally of both Efia Shwa and Delay, has reacted to the ongoing vicious beef between his two former best friends. For the past three days, Efia Shwa and Delay have been dating themselves on the internet. A lot of social media users have called on Nana Tunado to intervene before things escalate and turn bloody in the process. Reply to the netizens who are calling on him to talk to delay and if Yashua. Nana Tunado has categorically stated that he has nothing to say or do about the ongoing beef. According to him, both delay and if Yashua are very evil and wicked, and he is somehow happy that they are now fighting. So, without me not talking much. Mm. So we'll go listen to what Nana Tunado had to say. Uh, within this few days, no, people are attacking me, talking about say Tunado. There is one thing that um, I want people to know. I just don't wake up say maybe a video. It will be a term. Say the ministry you need to be sorry. My family phone. Say me a video. It will be a term. Debbie. And yes, the ministry you need to be sorry. Me feel say me be cool. And I me feel say me be video be a term. I want be far from this with you. I mean, did you be a term? No, I'm not that kind of person. I want you people to get that thing right. Secondly, the lady is the antokana omoku. Now, if you move, move, 
Yeah, so that's what's what Nana Tunadu had to say. It's surprising how your friends today can tend to be your worst enemy tomorrow. So that should be an advice to us all. So moving to our next entertainment story. A first round reply social media MP Sam George saying he should use the same energy to fight his fellow man, not a woman. It was just a matter of time Sam George knew what he was signing up for when he decided to poke his nose into a fiasha snigger and delays ugly facts. The uncut personality has sounded a strong warning to the member of parliament representing the Ningo Pram Pram constituency, Sam George, following his comments about a fear on her beef with delay. A fiasha dirty Dolores from Pomantu in the gutters by calling her barren and another mean name, she totally forgot that her fame began with delay on her show. Sam George, member of parliament, defended delay, saying he knows the media personality's child and that nullifies a fierce, harsh, and insensitive statement, saying delay is barren. So he wrote, But is she really barren? Is that a factual statement? Not as far as I know, utterly distasteful de- commentary. I will have to eat my chicken biryani with roti bread. Uh huh. So, responding to some judge statement, a fashion snigger warned the politician to mind his business, else she will make his June a living hell. Someone should warn, she, she stated, someone should warn, and the word is warn, some, yes, yeah, some or whatever, George. As for me, I will assist you to trend. I am warning you, if you don't want a peaceful June, try me. Social media MP, what's your business in women's fights? Did you tell your wife before jumping into this gutter? It's about to be a swimming competition in the gutters. Try me. You see the slaps you mouth and you. Use that same energy on your fellow men who slapped the living daylight out of you on national TV. So that was the warning if your stress nigga had for some judge. Now some judge can MP there and can ban to kwa dia fan hoben. You know how if your stress nigga is. No matter how cool you, um, you, are, you are with her. Yes, no matter how cool you are with her. If you say something small against her, she gets annoyed. Come on. The way she disgrace you, man. Mm, yes. So that is my little advice to some judge. Yes, so this is where we end entertainment up right on Ghana Talk Show. Then I go by the name Regina Bless. But before I leave, don't forget to download the Ghana Talk Radio app on Google Play Store or Apple App Store. Or you can visit our website www.ganatalkradio.com. Or you can also follow us on all social media handles at Ghana Talk Radio. And also, don't forget to join DJ Kobe Rich, the richest selector, from 6 to 10 p.m. as he drives you home. Stay tuned. Get it big, get it here.